going on everybody, Shuicida1 and today I'm going to be going over the Way of Wave 3 Veterans Day 1 colorway. On this model you got your typical general release slide out box as opposed to the box that flipped open if you watch my other videos on the Year of the Sheep and the All Star that those boxes they, they flip and have which is pretty cool but those are for more of the exclusive releases. Uh, this is more considered a general release, it does come with a dust bag though for both shoes. So the first thing you notice about the shoe, in my opinion, is the difference in material. It's got that ballistic mesh, whereas the other shoes are a new buck or a leather. And this shoe, to me, when you when I see this material, I think quality and durability. You know, it's not something that's gonna fall apart or even crease for that matter, unless obviously every shoe you if you beat it to death, you're gonna have some wear marks, but this to me, like I said, when I see that material, I think extremely durable. They stuck with the 3M in the laces this year, which I thought was, was awesome. And that's one thing I do like about this line, the Way of Wade line, and why I'm such a big fan. And the same thing, the laces, the camo, it, it, it all ties in. Because last year, they did a camo, they did a jungle camo, but it was a regular camo type feel. And this is that uh, fractal. Dazzle, fractal camo, I believe they call it, but you know, and, and they switch it up. They may stick with a theme, but, or a, or a color, but they kind of switch it up. And that's what I like. They're not just beating the same things to death. They're always putting a new twist on it. Another highlight of these shoes that I like, same thing on this one. You got the name and the tongue, Veterans Day 1. Last year it was on the heel. Like I said, change it, keeping it the same, but changing it up, different twists. Um, this shoe to me, I was a little nervous for all you guys out there who have tried on maybe the the wild, the way way two screw or the jungle camo that that those mesh shoes were super super tight like I had to sell my screws because they they didn't fit me I couldn't wear them um, they were so tight in the toe box but this shoe I was a little gun shy at first but I'm glad I took the chance I mean for for retail you can't beat it these shoes are under 200 bucks for this shoe super comfortable I'm glad I took the chance like I said. And overall, with the different materials that have been in the Wave 3 line this year, with the Year of the Sheep, the All-Star, the Christmas, and the Jungle Camel, or the Veterans Day, those are four different materials, and all four of them, actually, I'm sorry, and I'll throw in the announcement too, because that's all leather. Uh, out of the, one, two, three, four, five, out of the five that I have, there are all five different materials, four of them fit me great, announcement fit me super tight, that's why I was so gun shy at first, but um, the other four all the way around, the Way of Wave 3 line to me is probably the most comfortable. I'm not going to get crazy in depth, like I said, I'll save the, the detailed reviews on telling you what each line stands for on the solo, I mean that's not really my thing, I just want to give you guys a good look and give you my opinion and tell you that if you are scared of buying the shoe because of the fit, don't be, I think it should fit everybody narrow foot, wide foot comfortably. And that's one thing that I'm happy they finally they finally got around to because I had trouble fitting the two model last year, but I rocked them anyway. You know, I'm loyal to the brand. I love the brand. I like what they stand for. All right, I appreciate you guys checking me out. That's going to be it for this video. Just a quick review. Like I said, I wanted to give you my thoughts, my opinions on on these shoes. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you're following me. That's not like I was begging you, but I'm not. I mean, you know, you don't have to. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> My mom always said to say please, so I said please. But anyway, uh, follow me on Instagram, at the real suicidal one. Also follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's suicidal one without the real. I mean, not that someone would want to be a fake suicidal one. But uh, give me a follow. Also, if you want to pick these up, um, if you're if you, you you are in the Miami area, you can stop by the Edition Boutique and grab them from there. They are the world. The world. They are the universe's first storefront to carry the Way of Way line. And have it. It's the first brick and mortar shop to have the Way of Way line. So it's a pretty big deal. Um, everyone's been asking for it. So there, now we have it. And you can give them a call, pick up an order, check them out. They're gonna have, you know, every way that releases, every retail, retail, retail version, every retail version, and also some exclusive stuff as well. But also, make sure you check them out on Instagram. And they just launched their YouTube channel. Uh, I actually did the video for them. Stop by there, check out the video. I did a, I did a, I had, I had, I actually had a chance to ask Marshall Lynn some questions, so make sure you check out the video. I think that's about four minutes in. Check that interview out and tell me what you guys think. But I appreciate the love and support I've been getting over the years. I know I've been in and out of the, 
the YouTube world, but I really do appreciate the love from everybody. And for now, I'm back. So <laughs> make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Until next time, peace.